Hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and what I want to do today is another short video showing you another technique or another mistake too that I see a lot of people making and uh, and how you can correct this to make your images look more realistic, when you, especially when you're using digital backgrounds and props. And uh, in this case here, it's going to be using this subject right here that you're looking at on the screen and I'm going to show you one of the big things that I see. And what I'm going to show you here is... After you cut out your image, okay, and I'm not going to go into that. I've already done videos in the past about that. Uh, but once you cut out your image, okay, you may see that you have this white line running around your image, okay, on the edges. And if you were to put this in a background like this, a dark background, or even the one I just showed you, you're going to see that white line. All right, and we don't want that. So that's the one problem I see, people leaving the background. Now, if this was shot on a black background, well, maybe you'd see black, a black line. Well, you don't want to see that. All you want to see is a taper from the skin or from the material into the background. And if the background is slightly soft, well, then you want that edge to be slightly soft. So there's a couple things I'm going to talk about. One is how to get rid of this white line, okay? And then also, I'm going to talk about how to get the right amount of feather on the edge, because sometimes... Sometimes I see people over feathering where it looks really soft and it does not look good or I'll see people where it looks too sharp. All right. So let's kind of fix those two issues and I think your images will look better in the end. All right. So the first thing that you're going to want to do here now is make another selection. So in this case, we're going to make sure that we're on our subject. And if you did this beforehand, before you even did this selection, then you could you could do what I'm about to show you before you even make that cut. All right, but let's just say that it's in here now, we've already done the cut, and now we're seeing that we have an issue here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my tolerance. I'm on the magic wand tool. Basically, every single version of Photoshop has the magic wand, even elements. All right, so these are basic tools I'm talking about. So here's your tolerance. All right, go ahead, and if you click, you're going to see it's going to make all those marching ants go around and make that selection. Okay, so now let's zoom in on this really close so you can see what's going to happen now see it picked up the outline where the white was because that's now the outer edge that photoshop is detecting so what we want to do is bring that edge in okay and the way that you do that is you go up to your select option up here you go to modify and then you go to contract or i'm sorry expand all right so now go to expand you're going to expand it by two to start with and then click OK. Now see how it moved it in? Now let me just zoom up a little bit closer and you can see it's still going to leave some behind. So we want to go a little bit more. So you can do it again. You can go select, modify, expand, maybe go by one pixel. And there we go. So now you're on the skin. Now in here it didn't do a good job and we still would have to knock this out, but that's fine. We'll do that afterwards. That, that's easy to do, right? You can also add to your selection here by holding down the shift key and then just doing that. So you can do that as well and work yourself around it. And I can do that here now if I want to. I can go here and here, okay? Or if you didn't do it after the fact, you can do it later. But while we're here, let's do it, I guess. So just hold the shift key and that adds to your selection. All right, so now what I'm gonna do Okay, and here's the part where people would just go ahead now and just hit delete and then they would cut the edge and then the edge would look too sharp. All right, now what you want to do is you want to go to your, uh, same thing, select, modify, you want to go to your feather. All right, and your feather now is going to determine the radius. All right, I usually go 0 0.5. That's what I use. All right, sometimes I'll use 1 depending, but it's usually 0 0.5. Click OK, and then all you're going to do is hit delete. Let's deselect, and you can see now we have a nice soft edge. Now I'm zoomed way in at 300%, all right? If I zoom out, you'll see it still looks good. Even the edge around the hat now is better, all right? You do not want a hard edge. A lot of people think, well, I don't want a soft edge. You do because you want that to blend into the background. Now you don't want it too soft, right? Let's go back. And let's overdo that now. Let me, let's see, where are we? Yep, okay. So now let me zoom back in again, just so you can get the idea here, okay? We're on, we're on all that stuff, right? Now what if I went in here and I went select, modify, feather. And let's say I did four pixels. Look, look what it's done. 
it left like a halo around it because it was taking some of what was on the outer edge, okay, and some on the inner edge, and then it cuts it. And then now we're getting this blur effect, and that does not look good, all right? So we don't want to do that. So that's why the safe thing when you're doing cutouts is anywhere is between 0.5 and 1 pixel. That's what I usually do. 1 sometimes is too much. So that's why I usually go with one or uh, 0.5, and it's, it's usually right on. Um, and I've, I've always said this too before, you always want to make sure that your cut line is going to be on the skin, on the line. Now, let's say that you took too much and you're like, oh, that's, that's too much. You know, you don't want that much. Well, you can redo it. Or in this case, I could go select, modify, contract, or uh, yeah, contract. Now, let's say I want to do, I'm going to do it just to be drastic so you can see the difference. I'm going to go by two. Now watch, it goes back out. So contracting it brings it back, expanding brings it in, okay? And again, I, I wrote a detailed blog post about this. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description down below, and you can go check that out. It's all step-by-step -step screenshots, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that, and that's one of, the, one of the big mistakes I see people making is they're leaving that edge and then wondering why it looks like it's a cutout and why it looks like it doesn't blend and why it looks fake as people say, right? We want to make it look as believable as possible. All right. Now I recently, uh, like I said, wrote that blog post. I put all of these three tips in there. This is just one of them. The other two I shot videos for, but everything is going to be compiled and bundled kind of over there for free. And you can go over and check all that stuff out. Again, I'll leave that in the description box down below. But anyway, I just want to leave you with that. That's how you do it. All right. And then you come out with an image that's got a nice edge on it like this one right here. So this way here you can see we've got a nice soft edge that's blending in. We don't see any any white on it. We don't see any of that stuff. It just looks like nice. It kind of goes in with that even on this prop. The prop in the background is a little bit out of focus. So is the background because that's how a camera would shoot that if you're shooting it um, with the right aperture and all that stuff. And uh, the foreground is... Uh, is going to be sharper. So that's what you want to mimic. You want to mimic that. Okay. And you can see the hand here looks good. All that looks good. Right. So that's basically it. So I just wanted to leave you with that. And uh, if you have any questions about this, you want to leave them in the comments box down below. You can do so. If you're on YouTube watching this and you want to subscribe to our channel, do so at the top, I believe, or somewhere on this page, and you'll get updates to other videos that we create like this. Or you can just head over to newportraitbiz.com and you can sign up over there and get all the updates and all the good stuff. And you can also read posts like this and We've got a lot of information over there. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. Once again, my name is Scott with newportraitbiz.com, and I'll talk to you later.